morning, Alabama. Whew. Slept like a baby. GreenAPU.com, guys. Check them out. Because they keep us nice and cool. If I can get to the, there you go. Green APU. Whew. All right, let's fire up and get this delivered. Hello, neighbor. Pretty cool, like, misty fog this morning. It's 7.30 in the morning. We're coming into Birmingham. Can you pay me in Birmingham? Uh, yeah, we should be right there on time for the drop. And then, I what Monday morning is going to hold. If rates are going to stay the way they've been, or if they will be better for us. But typically, going back to the southeast from here, it's not that great. Um, get something good, but not not awesome. And then Florida's really been slacking lately, so I don't know if somebody contracted that out for all the Florida freight or what, but it hasn't been that many great ones going down there. Uh, $3 a mile. It's still pretty good, but like what it's been used to, not enough. Really. And that, just like that, that fog cloud is gone. Kind of crazy. Cool scene of coming down the mountain. Let's get through Birmingham and then Tuscaloosa is about 50 miles past it, so we should be there in no time. Next exit is us, 136. Exit only. That's so where we're going. Tesla Lusa. Maybe who knows? 
was Tank. <laughs> Tank seems to love uh, motorsports. And uh, Case is a natural athlete. Cash has the body of what I had, but he's very, very gentle, so who knows if he'll be super competitive. But he is competitive with the game, so he always wants to beat you when he plays you on a. talked to me said hey man you dropping off you're picking up I said dropping off he said break your seal slide your tandems and whenever a door opens up get in that one I said all right <laughs> nice and easy let's do it well, I'll go this side so yeah slide tandems break seal let's get in there he also said put your paperwork in the bag so that's what we did we'll see you later glue it's been fun time to drop you off those mud flaps are looking good and so is our little new toolbox. I love it. See, I cut them about two inches off the ground now. And then Mr. Toolbox is hanging in there. Heck yeah. I like it. And don't forget the green APU. Yes. Plus the corner fenders. Not too tall now where they're going to get rubbed or anything. And our lights. Uh, stayed on the whole trip, so who knows? This I bought a bulb for this, an LED one that I thought would kind of match these, so we'll see if that works. But right now, let's get our door. So he said whenever a door opens up, but I can't tell which doors are open. Let's go see. We got the classic XL. Kind of cool to see an SDI, man. How you doing? Oh, you're, uh, right. you're, a, you're a Carolina boy, too. Oh, yeah. Look here, man. Greenville, yeah. So, another Greenville guy right here, STI out of Greer. And yeah. he's heading back home. Hopefully, I'll be right behind him following him. What was your name? Pete, nice to meet you, buddy. Take care of yourself, man. See you later. Yeah, it's kind of cool. He's out of Greer, too. He's like, what's up, Mr. Turkey? What's up, man? All right, so that uh, third door down there, cone's in there, so we're not going to be able to do that one. But Pete, nice to meet you today, man. We'll wait our turn. Bingo, bingo. He's pulling out, and he was the last truck over there to the right, so it looks like that'll make it easy for us because we can pull into that uh, parking area over there, so... I did not slide my tandems yet. I'm gonna wait till we get in. Uh oh, he's sliding his tandems right. That's kind of cool. I love that. I don't know. 
where you can slide your cams without going down there and, and moving the, the bar. I don't know what that's called, but definitely an automatic system for doing that kind of stuff. Whoa, I'm trying to move my phone and or touch my phone, like my hand hit it. So those toads right there to the, where the black thing's blocking it, the infamous black thing. Uh, that's what we have on our truck. Let's go ahead and let's watch a little bit of highlights of Alabama and Texas a and and that uh, Windemeyer tight end, man, jeez. Or he's, I don't know if he's a tight end or he's a big receiver, but he's a pretty good route runner. He knows how to find the open area. So yeah, that, this makes it real easy for us to back up. Pull right in here, and we're, our trailer's already straight on with the, with the uh, dock now. Put the hazards on, let them know we're coming. Get in this door, and there's a load going right back to North Charlotte area, right where I bought that Trans Am that I have in my backyard, um, outside of Charlotte towards the west. And when you bid on something and they call you right away, that means they need to move that load. So it's probably a load they didn't move from Friday and they need it now. So it's picking up just past Birmingham, but it's going right back towards the house. So I said, I got a dentist appointment tomorrow, but if I get this load, I'll be missing that. And I told Tito to end because I missed the last appointment because not our fault, but the uh, dentist office had some break on their computer or something. I forget what it was, but I'm just rambling on. Either way, I got a dentist appointment tomorrow to get my final crown put on my back teeth if you followed my channel for a while thank you for following it i had a root canal and uh they made like a temporary crown then they send off to like match your tooth perfectly with a permanent crown so that came in but we have not gotten it put on yet so that's going on and then t-dubs is dealing with there's this different form you have to actually fill out physically and get it notarized so that t-dubs can have access to my um so you can do anything for RMT, my, our freight company with the local MVD for South Carolina. You had to physically take it back to the office. We tried to drop it off at our local DMV this morning and uh, I got the paper when I was getting the plates for this W9. And uh, they said, no dice. Uh, you cannot just drop it off here. You must go to the commercial office, which is not too far, 20 minute drive, but the other DMV is right next to our house. So <laughs> T-Dub's packing up. The two crazy child children is a little little hard. But that's life. A stay-at-home mom. So she can get that done, but she then then she can just do anything. STI. Logan, that's a great company out of there. like 70 cents a mile, but you have to have some experience. Um yeah, I'm rambling this morning. So hopefully she can get that done. Ooh, my seat is still squeaking, but that's okay. Let's pull our tandems. I'm gonna bounce them backwards. It's good to push them back, kind of rock them, let them loosen up, and now they should be free. There we go. My goodness, this poor truck hit something. Looks like it's still rolling good, but DEF system might have took a little, DPF system a little hit, but it's still rolling. Cedar Point, got some cool graphics. And we are, oh, oh, there you go, red light. Hit it pretty quickly. He's already had, we only have six of them on there, so I counted at least three that are already out of there, so we should be going soon. And here are those two loads. JB Hunt had some good ones. One's at 1550 back to Charlotte, uh, early morning delivery, but I have to go a little bit south to get it. And then the other one that got called on, uh, it's actually listed for more than they counter offered me now, so here's those two loads. be a little bit of a DOT violation I don't know but uh it got a big hit right there and then it's leaking diesel right now that might not be good just saying Ooh. but hey get it to the shop app maybe it was on this load hopefully they're okay and they can get it back let's see what load we get but those those two loads Coyote has like three loads but none of them are going anywhere remotely cool to where I want to go Oklahoma, I think Oklahoma, and one's 2,700 bucks on 800 miles down to Fort Myers. Uber doesn't have anything. The closest thing that for Uber is about 190 miles. I'd go back towards Atlanta. And then uh, Convoy has one decent load, for, but it's uh, 1090 all the way back to Charlotte. So that JB Hunt's leading the way for loads coming out of here. Um, and then Sage Robinson also has one going to Jacksonville. It's listed at, I think it's listed at 15, uh, offered 2350. So. But that would definitely take me out of my dentist appointment. But we will see. But yeah, that poor truck, it's just dripping diesel right now. 
Looks like they put something on there to try and stop it, but got to get a new tank installed in that thing. All right. Let's see when we get the green light. Come on, green light. Come to me. No more leaking diesel. And no more than a couple minutes after that last clip, we got the green light. I uh, forgot the wheel chalk is in there, so let's back it up so we're not on it. And uh, go get it out of there. Be right back. BRB. Okay, wheel chalk is removed. This guy's backing up. Once he's out of the way, we should be out of the way. And our paperwork should be in the back of the trailer. Let's set up our ELD and see what kind of load we're gonna get. Probably go back towards that Taco Casa, even though it's 9.30 in the morning. I don't think I'm ready for tacos yet, but we shall see. Okay, he's out of line. Tuscaloosa, it has been fun. I have not got a load yet, but we had some good prospects. They came back with 13,000, 1,300, sorry, um, to Rock Hill. Rock Hill is just south of Charlotte. Um, I can get there kind of like back roads from my house, but it's better just to take 85, even with the traffic. But uh, we'll see, there's another one for CH that just popped up going to uh, Charlotte. So we'll see, we'll see if we get any of these ones. There's definitely a lot of loads going back towards where I live, which I love. So it gets me back towards my babies, towards T-dubs. And that's, what does that say, Dixie? Uh, Borders Cheese is right next to me, and then Dixie, I don't know if that's Dixie Cups or what, but it has like a red and a white symbol, and Dixie's kind of written in a cool font. Either way, we're out of here. Out of Tuscaloosa, home Alabama, and that game, man, I uh, watched the highlights of it on YouTube, and what, what a crazy game. Interception, or a, a blocked punt, touchdown, and the next play, a uh, kickoff return. I'm like, man, it just... A lot of offensive firepower on that, on that team, both those teams, though. So. Great game, ended up with a field goal win for Texas and him. But Alabama looks strong, too. So we got another load, another C.H. Robinson load of all things. Uh, right back to Greer, where I live, so I can make that dentist appointment because it's an open first come, first serve drop uh, up until five o'clock, so that is awesome. But we got to shoot down about 45 miles off the 20 right there to our left to go get this thing. So I can't even pronounce the name of that. It's Sila, 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 something. But it's Alabama still. It's 280 miles back to home, and I will take that for what? We got it for 1150. I was asking for 14, but he said, hey, we don't, we run these all the time for a thousand. I said, well, I need to get home. The appointments are easy, it's heavy. Well, at least it says it's 40,000, but they might just be saying that because they don't really get them safe all the time. There's another load that was going from Michelin to some rubber company, probably like a rubber processing place down in uh, Abbeville, South Carolina, which is kind of pretty close to my house, but kind of below Anderson. And uh, that was only, they would only get that for 1,200, but it had scale tickets, scale light, scale heavy, that kind of stuff dealt with that as a truck driver you have to go to a scale which is fine it just takes some more time getting it done scale there and scale out so no biggie i like this one better greer is right by the house and uh, we shall get this thing going we just got to shoot down through some traffic it looks like to go get it some beautiful clouds up there but it's making me wonder if i'm going to make this pickup it's a 130 uh cutoff and I, if i make it through this traffic i'll be there about one so just praying we don't have anything that pops up to hinder that because I have 42 miles left on this road right here and then we are pretty much there. It's like another three miles after that. So let's pray that we can get through all this uh, congestion area. This is still right off the highway so hopefully it opens up up here. I don't know though. I don't know. We're about to find out. Stoplights for a while. It's not a. Oh, man, back to 45. Goes from 55 to 45. A lot. But we are 20 miles away and we'll be there about 110. So hopefully, like we always say, they're in a good mood. But we shall see.
here's our turn off of 280. It's going to 150, I think it is. Wait for this, what is this, a red, uh, Pontiac Grand Prix, two-door, is it a GXP? No, it's just a GT. And then we take this for three miles. Pretty hefty motor on the back of it too. 
Who knows? today or if we're done looks like a big enough place that they might but who knows they might have a hard cutoff a lot of places are like no more shipping after this time do, do, do. oh my goodness but it said 1 30 is the latest you pick up or i got lost and went to the wrong address just wondering if they do, if they do load after that RMT? RMT? Yeah, but C.H. Robinson was the broker. That's the name of my company, the RMT. The truck number? 316? 316. Trailer? 531. 4 Yeah, um. Saying if I didn't have the next five minutes, it was done. I would have to call her and she would have to make your Make my call, make the decision. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we got that number because we did not have the right number. So email the broker and he got it over for us. Oof. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because it says on there 130 because cut. You would have probably had to go sleep at Walmart tonight. Oh, man. No, I'd rather get loaded than me heading that way. Yeah. Well, what do they make here? Huh? What do they make? Like, what do they ship? What do they make? Oh, uh, they ship. Uh, uh, insulation. Oh, okay. For like for roofs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I thought it says Atlas Web Design. I thought it was going to be some kind of something. I don't know. Computer parts or something. But that's a blessing. I'm glad we got it. Just that I won't have to go to Walmart. <laughs> so I got to get on the scale and get around there before 2 o'clock. Oh my goodness. What a day. But uh, on top of that, my number was wrong for pickup. Ah, let's keep it calm. Don't go over the scale too quickly. Take it easy. Man, what a ordeal. Who can go apps? Sometimes they're awesome. Sometimes they put you 25 miles in the wrong direction. You still make it here with five minutes to spare. Email your broker and he gets you the right number with three minutes to spare. That gives you two minutes to get on the scale and in a door before two o'clock because as she said, I'll be sleeping at Walmart if not. I don't want to sleep at Walmart. I'm going to get my trailer on this. Oh, why did I make these scales so narrow? On the scale without hitting any sides of it. doors open. How you doing, bud? Are you loading or are you... Are you I'll put that on your rear airline. Okay. Wait, so you guys come back out there? Thank you, man. My truck number? Uh, 531. 531 446. Thank you. Wowzers. We've got our little lock, slide of tandems. Getting door two. I think we'll end that video here today. God bless you. Sometimes you say a couple prayers up into the universe and it works out, but they said 130. They could have been like, no, you're not, you can't have it, but I am glad they were okay with it. Oh. Get this truck back in there. Get this back home so we can get our dentist appointment. Please check out JustTrucking.shop. God bless you. Have a beautiful day. And we will see you on the next one.